Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks. My name is David Edwards. Today we're going to make a subscriber cocktail, the Benny Hunt. But is it any good? Let's find out. It's great to have every single one of you back here today. I am stoked. We're making another subscriber cocktail. And this sounds really, really interesting. This comes to us from Tim Kirkland. Now he named this the Benny Hunt after his grandfather. So you know what? That is pretty cool, isn't it? And I'm really interested to try this just because of these ingredients all together. And of course, what we have here are vodka, orange curacao, and it's gotta be a dry orange curacao, maraschino liqueur, Campari, Peychaud's bitters, and lime, and of course some ice. And you know what? That's really enough I need to say. Let's get into this. So grab your shaking glass. Now, this is really, really simple. And the ingredients are pretty simple as well. So what we need is a little bit of vodka of your choice. Now I'm using a flight vodka and we need one ounce or 30 milliliters. The next thing you need is your orange curacao of choice. And you want a dry curacao. I'm using Pierre Ferdinand dry curacao. And it'll give you that orange flavor and it won't be overly sweet. You need one ounce or 30 milliliters. The next thing we'll use is maraschino liqueur. Now maraschino liqueur is our sweetener for this. However, it is drier, so it won't be overly sweet. Now Tim says here we need to use one ounce of this as well. The next thing you'll use is Campari. Now Campari, of course, is an Italian aperitif, as a bitter. It's very, very bitter. And you wanna use three quarters of an ounce. Looking really good so far. Next, you're gonna grab your Peychaud bitters. Now Tim's recipe calls for two to three dashes of the Peychaud's bitters. I'm just going to use two for now. Next thing you need is some lime. Give it a bit of a roll. Cut it open, chop it in half. Now we need one bar spoon's worth of this. Grab your lime, and we're just gonna give it a squirt right over the spoon here. One bar spoon, of course, is five mils. Grab your shaking tin. More importantly, we're gonna grab some ice. And we're going to shake this for exactly 10 seconds, as Tim suggests. Flip it over nice and neatly. Hold on to it because this is for your granddad. And give it a hard shake. We interrupt your regularly scheduled program, especially his boring shaking, to tell you this PSA. You should be very, very careful when you slam a glass down into a mixing glass and not be too excited about it because then you get this. Yes, that's right. It's a crack in the glass. So be careful. Yeah. Different than I normally shake it. I wanted to try it separate. Give this a pop. And put that down here. Now, Tim also says that this must go in a coop, but not just any coop. It's got to be ice cold, like so. That is almost Canadian cold just for your granddad, Tim. Now, what you want to do is you want to strain this, but we are going to fine strain this to keep out any little ice chunks. Very, very nice. Now, this comes with a very complex garnish. It's so complex, in fact, you can't see it because there is none. All right, let's get into giving this a bit of a smell. Oops, try not to knock that over as well. Your granddad would be angry about that. Smells good. You get a little bit of the Campari and the Maraschino off and just a hint of lime. Oh, that is a pretty looking cocktail. Mm. 
Ooh, it's a bit more bitter. The, the Campari is there. And you can taste the maraschino really blends nicely with it. The Campari kind of hits it, hits me anyways. I taste the Campari, I already said that, and the maraschino, and you can taste a little hint of the orange. The vodka is completely hidden, which is awesome. Mmm, Tim. Oh yeah, that is good. Mm. It's a little on the bitter side, uh, but you know what? This is really, really good. It's not overly sweet, which I really like. And you know what? I, I can't go wrong with this. Oh yeah. Mm. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the method of how to make this and its ingredients down in the description down below. Now, if this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time we put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you're interested on supporting the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on rocks because every little bit helps. And you know what? You have a great night. Try this out. Let Tim know in the comments down below what you think. It's a really good cocktail. Give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you next time. After his grandfather. And we all know. All right, it's great to have every single one of you here today. Baking another subscriber cocktail. Now this one, I cracked my nose.